How are you doing? I'm good. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. <laughs> so, um, hello YouTube. This is my friend Antonio Palayo. I'm wearing your t-shirt. I know. I see that. Yay. I wanted, actually wanted to wear it backwards because I really like this Let me show. The little symbol in the back. Did you create that? Yes. You did? It's my initials. Yeah. Well, no. I told you. It looks like it says your entire name in it. It could because it's like... Yeah. A lot of people see a lot of different things in it. Yeah. So you created it yourself, huh? Mm -hmm. Wow. Anyway, I wanted to ask you some questions because I know that um, you're Mexican and you're like a real Mexican, not like me. <laughs> you're like from Mexico. So um, tell me like all about your Mexican upbringing and tell me like, you know, where you came from. Because I know you said you come from Jalisco when we went to the Santana concert right. and you were like, oh, Santana. It's from the same place. <laughs> that was a fun night. Oh yeah, very fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, tell me, tell me more about that. Like, well, um, actually, the story is that I was born in Glendale, okay. and we were sent to Mexico because we became Jehovah's Witnesses. Mm -hmm. So my mom started studying with the. Actually, both my parents started studying with the Witnesses back in 1970. Eight, I believe. Uh, Jehovah's Witnesses. Yes. Okay. They were Catholic, and they started studying with them. And my mom continued. My my dad stopped because he didn't agree with making the changes. Jehovah's Witnesses don't celebrate anything. No. <clears throat> so when it came down to making the changes, my dad said, "You know what? I I want out." My mom continued. My dad didn't. Mm -hmm. So then uh, my mom got my sisters and myself involved. She like you know took us, so we had no choice. So basically, like, wait, um, so Jehovah's Witness, like, what exactly do they do? All I know about Jehovah's Witness is that they come on your door and they and they <laughs> knock on your door and you don't answer it. Like that's the only thing I know about Jehovah's Witness growing up in Texas, like, you know, in the hood or whatever. Like we we see the Jehovah's Witness, <laughs> like don't answer it. You know what I mean? But what exactly? Because we grew up Catholic. So. so my, my parents started studying with the witnesses here, mm -hmm. and then my mom continued. So she, she took my, myself and my sisters to the meetings, mm -hmm. to the Jehovah's Witness uh, gatherings. Mm -hmm. So it, it basically, she like took us, you know. Oh, okay. And then, and then my I dad... I didn't know what you meant. Like, I didn't know if it was like... She, yeah, she took us to the meetings, oh, okay. to the gatherings. Okay. Because we were little. Mm -hmm. You know, we had no choice. Mm -hmm. So then my dad didn't agree with that. So his plan was, you know what, I'm going to send... I'm going to send them to Mexico, mm -hmm. to our small town over there, because everyone there is Catholic. So Jalisco is a big state, mm -hmm. and uh, our, our town is called El Palmar. It's a very small town, probably like 250 houses mm -hmm. in the whole town. So he sent us there, because everybody there is Catholic. Mm -hmm. And his, his plan was to send us there, and hopefully with the pressure of the family, that we would become Catholic back again oh okay but it didn't happen yeah my mom actually became your mom a stronger was... jehovah witness oh, and she started recruit recruiting everyone yeah she's yeah. a good recruiter <laughs> hmm. yeah so, so then and and then we continued mm -hmm. you know um and that's basically it um we stayed there till 89 Mm -hmm. And uh, just out of nowhere, uh, my mom decided, you know what, this, we're going to go back. But the plan was that my mom and my sisters were going to come back here just for a vacation. And I was going to stay over there. Mm -hmm. But the night before, everyone started crying. And they're like, no, we're going to take you with us. I'm like, all right. Aww. So we all came. We s still uh, continued being Jehovah's Witnesses. But then later on, I decided to take another route. And then I got kicked out. Hmm. How did you end up back here? We decided just to come back. Oh, okay. Yeah. When did you know it was your first time like falling in love with art? Like when you knew for a fact that you wanted to be an artist? Was it when you were younger? Or was it when you were older? Um, <clears throat> I've always had love for drawing ever mm -hmm. since I was a kid. And obviously I didn't know, you know what it was to be an artist. Mm -hmm. Until I started working at Disney at 19. And Disney exposed me to the first art exhibit. Right, right. 
and and I, I was like, uh, oh man, this is cool. The, uh, the company has exhibits for their employees. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, this is cool to create something and put it up on the wall and have people come and um, give their opinions or thoughts. And appreciate it, yeah. Like appreciation. Appreciate art, yeah. Because it's like part of your soul, you know? Yeah. So. So I, I thought that was So really you always cool. just drew, like, since you were little, you, you were drawing because you... Just, what made you want to draw, like... I don't know, it's just... Uh, was it just art class? You're just like, all right, here we go. And yeah. then you just had it in you, you know, like, just naturally. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I just love doing that. Well, what, one of the things is, like, in Mexico, the time we were there, as a Jehovah Witness, you're not supposed to uh, hang out with other kids that are not Jehovah Witnesses. So I didn't. Have, I didn't really have any friends. Mm -hmm. My only friend was my pad and pencil. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I would draw. So those are like your outlet. Yeah. Wow. You ever hear a song and be like, I want to like draw to that song. All the time. You do, right? I actually draw better when I'm listening to music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It yeah. inspires me. Yeah, it does, right? Yeah. So I don't know. Something clicks in here, and then I have to hmm. put it down on paper. Yeah, and like you can't wait to get it out, huh? Yeah, but and with that's that's actually what I do. Like a lot of artists, uh, they have to do a drug or, or something to yeah. get themselves in that mood. If if I'm not in the mood, all I have to do is like pop in some classical music mm -hmm. and go up there. So there are some famous people who who purchased your artwork. Who are some of the famous people that? that well, <laughs> one of them is Julia White. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that, Jaleel, yeah. Jaleel White, and um, someone Actually, else. I, I, how did the whole Disney thing come along? Like, how did you get in touch with the Disney people, and how did that whole thing come out? Like, well, I, I believe I I got into Disney through the Law of Attraction. Oh, okay. I've always dreamed of working at Disney. Mm -hmm. I didn't know exactly what, but I knew that I wanted to work there as an artist, mm -hmm. doing some kind of art. So um, we live in Glendale. We live like three minutes away from the studios. Mm -hmm. So I used to drive around the studios and visualize myself working in there doing something. Yeah. So then yeah, I did that for a couple of years. And then when I was, I used to work at a liquor store uh, up until I was 18. I quit doing that. And then in between um, my decide, decision of whether, uh, whether I'm gonna go to college for art um, I went to Apple One and uh, they got me a couple of temporary jobs. Mm -hmm. And then one of them uh, was working at Disney. You know, they called me one day and they're like, hey, we got you a gig at Disney for like five days. It's like easy stuff. Oh, so okay. I'm like, all right, cool. To like work and get paid to work? Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. So you're like. But it was just a, a five day thing. Oh, like a trial? No, not trial, just a temp job. Oh, okay. Temp yeah. job. Okay. So then I go in there and I'm doing like inventory stuff. And then within like the second day, I got to know some people and then they told me, oh, they're, they're going to start an inking department. And the guy showed me what it was. And then I said, you know what? I can do that. And he's like, well, why don't you talk to our boss? And so I did. I talked to Steve and uh, I told him, uh, listen, I'm an artist and I'd like to try out for that inking position. Mm -hmm. And then he's like, all right, um, we'll do a test on you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So then they, I, they tested me. I passed it. And that was the first one they hired. Oh, wow. So that five-day temp job turned into uh, me getting hired for a, a longer term. Yeah. So then I was, in that, I was in that department for about seven months. And then where I'm at now, they came over, they tested about 30 of us. Mm -hmm. They picked up one guy. And then two months later, they picked up me and, and another guy. Mm -hmm. So that is how I got where I'm at. Oh, wow. Got in there, yeah. So it was just fate. Really. Yeah, it was, crazy. it was like you were meant to do that. I was like, I was there at such a young at the age, right, yeah. Too, you know, that just goes to show. You just never know. Like, you never know what opportunities are going like, to lead you to something else. You just have to like take advantage of it. You know, right? Wow. So, all right. And 15 years later, here you are, right? 20. 20? No. Come on. Yeah, I'm 40. No. Wait, 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 when is your birthday? I didn't know you were 40. March, March 13th. I started working I at I guess Disney. so, because when I met you, you were like 35 or something, or 36 or something, or maybe, no, you were ago. 33, I think. 
Yeah, I met you on. I on, met you a long time. Oh my god! Yeah, I, I just like, realized I like now I met you too. This is so funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what exactly do you do at Disney? I want to know exactly what you do. Uh, I we do animation art. Okay. So what we but do? But like you know, like what's a typical day for you? Like at work. You it's it's work. different every day. It's different. Yeah, especially now that the the department is like tiny. Mm -hmm. Um, all of us there get to do a little bit of everything. When I first started working there, when I was 19, it was, uh, yeah, for the first couple of years, it was only inking, mm -hmm. all the time, just inking. Yeah. And then little by little, I started learning other positions, and now I do, I do it all. Oh wow! Yeah, but what we do there is, um, we recreate scenes from the Disney classics. For example, if uh, Disney releases a film on DVD, mm -hmm. what we do is we sit down, we look, we look at the film. And we pick a scene, and we reproduce that scene exactly um, the same way Disney animation was done back in 1930. Mm. So we do um, that piece on a cell, mm -hmm. hand inked, hand painted. Mm. Wow! So you do like you draw, and because I I see some of the pictures you post, and you're like, oh, we're drawing today, and then it's like not a full piece of artwork. It's just like you know, little outlines and stuff. It's, yeah. That's basically what you do, right? Right. Okay. Who are your influences, like, not just in art, but, like, just in general, like, in life? Who are your influences? Like, what influences you? Man, I have... Because, you know, I have influences that are, like, music, music, and, like, Prince influences me, or, like, Michael Jackson or somebody. But, who, I'm just curious, like, who... Man, it's just a, a multitude of people. Really? Yeah. But just in general, like, like, what do you... Art and music or anything, just let me know. I mm -hmm. want to know. Well, what I, influences you? I know classical music influences you. Yeah. So. Classical music. Um, to write, to draw. Yeah. As far as like in the art world, uh, Frida Kahlo has been a huge influence. Hmm. Oh, I tried to do my eyebrows like that today. For you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I was thinking about that earlier today when I was doing my eyebrows and they went a little bit too far in and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, go. But Frida, Frida Kahlo has been a, a huge influence. Yeah. Mark Ryden, Frida Kahlo, uh, Frank Frazetta. Yeah. What about uh, Brito? Brito? Who? <laughs> he's a he's an artist. Of, he's a I don't know if he's Cuban or what, but he's really big out in Miami, I think. But I have to um, see his work. yeah, it's really good. But um, his work is kind of like this. <laughs> but Pretty happy. What what else like besides that like um, just in general like like in life like. I mean, I, I find I can find inspiration on anything, anything. I can. Uh, I love Instagram for that reason. A lot mm. of people post yeah. like, beautiful imagery. Yeah. It could be a, a you know a photo of the sky or a forest or a lake. Mm -hmm. Or a beautiful person, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But pe usually true. people. I you know I love drawing people, so that is, that's my thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Faces. Faces is your thing. Yeah. 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 That's Especially, what I noticed. I was gonna say, because I, I was just thinking, have you have you drawn like anything besides besides like you know? I'm pretty sure you can do that too, though. You know, like because it looks. What you do is like so amazing. You could probably just draw anything, you know. Yeah, but I love I love drawing faces. That's your thing. Yeah. So tell me about your new business venture, Miriam. Miriam. Yeah, and I know you're super excited about that Very. too. And um, did you bring the sample? Yeah. You? Oh, you did. Okay, cool. Because I mean, I don't think I need it yet, but maybe just a little. I've noticed a little bit since the thing yesterday that I. How does it work? Like, what, what exactly? I actually don't know how the product works. All I know is that it works. Hmm. Yeah. So I, I um, here's an interesting part about that. I, I did, I was introduced to relationship marketing back when I was 18. Mm -hmm. And I, I love the concept of the average person having the opportunity to like, explode in that industry mm -hmm. 
It could be anyone without any degrees, and you didn't have to even speak the language. Mm -hmm. You'd come in the industry and then just like make a ton of money. So tell me, tell me more about the Miriam thing. I want to know because everybody wants to look young, right? Everybody right. wants to feel and look young. But yeah. what is your experience after after ninety days of using it? Tell me your experience. Um, well, actually, I I don't I don't really I didn't really notice it. But the before and after pictures, it, it just do speaks it. for itself, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. I, some of my friends have noticed. They're like, "Oh, dude, you used to have wrinkles right here." Yeah. Dog. I never noticed it, but after seeing the before and after, I'll show them to you. Yeah. Uh, mm. Yeah. But here's here's the thing about that. Um. So the so the industry is like a platform for the average person to come in, and be able to. You know, get recognition, uh, get paid what one is worth, because you know, at your job, you're just capped. You can't. Yeah, there's only so far you can go. Yeah. To like, yeah. There's only so far you can go, and uh, most people hit their jobs. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's like a, it's it, a lot of people settle for dead end jobs, and they never look further. You know, for uh, for other things. But um, how can Miriam help people that are in that situation? Um, by joining the company and following their system. And there's just like, there's a certain formula of like how everything works yes. too. Yeah. Because we learn like leadership skills, mm -hmm. people skills. You obviously, you know, you can't, if you hate people, you can't make it in that industry. <laughs> if, you, if you don't want to lead a team, then you're not going to make it. Yeah. So it's about that. It's about uh, growing as a person, becoming a better leader, mm -hmm. and learning the skills. Because if if you really learn the skills in that industry, you can you know get out there and use them in the in the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Start your own business. But here's the thing. Um, it, you know, it, it gives the opportunity for the average person to start a business with a low capital, mm -hmm. and you can make a ton of money. Yeah. If you want to start a regular business, you got to have a ton of money, and the average person doesn't have that. Right. So that's what attracted me to it, but it was also a platform for you to learn about personal development and about the law of attraction. Oh, okay. Because yeah, yeah, I noticed because we watched that uh, DVD the right. time that you came over, so it was it was a it was really it was a lot about that. It was like a um, very positive message in it too. Oh, yeah. It wasn't just you know. Yeah, because people that don't do personal development or they don't apply the law of attraction, it's it, it's very difficult to make it in that industry. Mm -hmm. So to me, I see relationship marketing as a, a, a school for developing yourself mm -hmm. and applying the law of attraction. And then you come out of it, you know, now I don't want to say a master, but you come out of it knowing how it works and you can apply it in all areas of your life, basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so I learned those skills, and then uh, I built a pretty big team back in 2000, mm -hmm. and I was with a company that sold an antioxidant juice for several years, and then because of my art career, mm -hmm. I had to leave it. So what I did is I learned all the skills that I learned about the law of attraction there, I applied them into my art career. Oh, okay. So, since 2005 till this date, I've accomplished quite a bit. I don't want to sound, you know, oh, cocky no, about you it. Have. But, no, you but have. I've accomplished a lot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I I believe that and you, it's And you're because, still going. And you still keep it going. Oh, yeah. like you're always posting on Instagram. You're always... I'm going to put your Instagram on there. I'm going to put all that on there. All right, cool. But yeah, um, I always see you keep... You never just give up on your dreams. You know, that's no, a really no. good thing. It's really important, especially like when you get into your 30s and your 40s too. You know, like you kind of like lose the enthusiasm. Right. But you haven't you haven't lost that, so that's a yeah. really good thing. The, that to me is half the battle right. for for anything. You know, so it's good. Yeah. So that's essentially the, I I love that industry um, for that. Mm -hmm. And I you know I I've been, I've been I have a 17 year old, mm -hmm. so I've been teaching my kid about that since he was a kid. So now that he's seventeen, he's like super confident that he yeah, can I go out so. there and I'm do following him on Instagram. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So he's he's very talented. I, you got to meet him actually. 
Yeah, I musically, want to. you guys can get I was going to say, you should have brought him over here well, he's, today. He's in Riverside. Oh. But maybe what I'll do next time I have him on the weekend, mm -hmm. I'll let you know and then we'll hook up. Yeah, yeah, let me know. You and, you and him would like do something cool. Like really? You, yeah. Yeah, because I, I saw the um, the thing he did when he was 13, yeah, the yeah, rap that right. he did. Or, yeah, that was like really good. I was like, yeah. wow. And he's 13 years old. Like, he was, was it he when was he was 13? 13. I think yeah. he, he, it was when he was 13. Mm -hmm. Wow, I've known you for a while now. Yeah. So now he's 17. Wow. So <clears throat> I can't believe that. That's yeah. so crazy. Because I've always thought of you to have like a young kid, and now he's like 17. Wow. And now with Nerium, you know, now I'm like 30. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I'm just going to say two things and then I want you to pick what your favorite thing is from the two things. So Batman or Superman? And then tell Superman. me why. Superman. So, oh my God, why? Okay, why? Superman. I always feel like I have to ask people this question just because it's so like tied, you know? Batman or Superman, which one? Superman. I. Superman was like the... <laughs> very first image that I remember when I was like three years old that I remember vividly that I drew. Mm -hmm. We were we went to the supermarket in Highland Park mm -hmm. and I took a magazine that had Superman on the cover. Mm -hmm. I just took it. And then when we got home, my mom was like, uh, where'd you get this? I'm like, store? And she, I, I don't know, they, left, they let me keep it and I drew the cover of it. Mm -hmm. I drew it. And that's the very first vivid memory or image that I have of drawing something, and it yeah. was of Superman. Oh, and, wow. and since then, I you know I've I've always loved that character. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like you he know, just he, uh, maybe Superman just has more of a, a sentimental meaning for you. Maybe that's why yeah. it's not like a technical reason for me. Right. I guess it's it's a technicality or something. But for you, but it's can, like now Superman's I, my heart from, you know, back in the day. Yeah, whatever, you know, but I can, I can, like, growing up, I can relate to him. Not, mm -hmm. not as far as like me being able to fly, but I've always <laughs> dreamed of flying. Mm -hmm. Like I have constantly dreams of me flying. Yeah. All the time, but it's it's like you know it's this guy that that has these powers, but he has to hide them mm -hmm. from from people. Right. Right. So growing up, we were Jehovah Witnesses. And I would walk around trying to hide that because people didn't like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I could kind of relate to the way he, right, he yeah. was, you know what I mean? Or is. Hmm. So, yeah, I've always been a huge Superman fan. So what did you think of Man of Steel? Because I, I saw it. it. It was amazing. Yeah, yeah. and it. I'm not really a, I'm more of a Batman person, uh -huh. but um, I, I loved it. I was like, wow, i got to give it up to Superman right I now. I thought it was well done. Yeah. Prior, uh, I want to see the movies again. prior to that. They all pretty much sucked. Oh right, right. That's there, there's like yeah. six Supermans. Yeah. I lo I love the first one. I love the very first one. Mm -hmm. And then the and then after that one, they all they just I don't know. But yeah. this last one it was really good. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah. And I feel like sometimes uh, Superman he needs a little bit more play because you know. Oh, shit. This is my postcard from Spain from oh. one of my friends. Uh, <laughs> somebody else did that too. Um, no, because like, you know, Batman gets all this... Batman gets all this attention, you know? He's gotten so many movies and so much credit for everything. And I guess maybe that's the reason why everybody loves him. Well, not the reason why I love him, but... Um, why do you love Yeah. Him? I just love him because he's like... I just love... It. He's just... First, of, I, mean, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to get into it, honestly, just because like it'll probably become like this big argument. <laughs> I don't want it to get like that. But uh, because I feel like Batman, he's even though he doesn't have superpowers, he's he's got it all figured out. You know, he's got he's got Alfred. He's got money. He's got his Batcave. He's got like hot chicks. Like he has everything. You know and to me, that, uh, Superman, it, like, he works for a newspaper, and, I don't know, maybe that makes him more real. Right. Or something. And then <laughs> Batman's just, like, on top of the world. Right. Like, Fat Burger or In-N-Out? In-N-Out. Fat Burger makes me sick. What? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Does it make you, like, go to a restroom 
Everyone's it just like, gives right me away? That's no, for me. it doesn't do that. It just gives me a stomach ache. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. That's so weird. We're so different. I like mm -hmm. I, I like In-N-Out, but um, I like I that. I love In-N-Out. Yeah. And that's exactly where I went, like, right after the photo shoot yesterday. I went oh, straight to In-N-Out, and I was like, I'm getting a burger right now. I haven't been to In-N-Out in a minute. It's so good. I am. Just not this one right here on Orange, because that place is like always crazy. There's always traffic, and there's a line like all the way on Sunset. It's just insane. But Mercedes or BMW? BMW. I had my my first car was a BMW oh, when I was that's, 16. I remember you did have a BMW. Well, or recently, first, yes. But what happened? I sold it. Oh, you did. Oh, okay. So if you were to get, because I know like in LA, it's like a thing, you know. In Texas, nobody cares, but. Like, it's like Mercedes and BMW, and then, like, the next would probably maybe be Audi or something. But, like, I've always been a more of a, I don't really, I can't really choose between the two. BMW, or I, maybe I would say BMW. But yeah, BMW. BMW. Well, why, what makes them so different, though? What do you think? I don't know. Like, to, I, me, to me, a BMW is, is more cooler. Cool. It's more hip, hip, yeah. hip. Like, yeah, I know what you mean. Cause like Mer Mercedes is just like, look at me, motherfucker. I'm the shit. You know, that's what right. Mercedes says to me. And I don't know if you noticed, but like every time, like driving around in LA, Mercedes always have an attitude. You know, right. like they're always just like, and like BMW's kind of chill. Yeah, you know? to me, Mercedes is like for the upper class. Yeah. You know, and BMW. It's, it's for, for the it's cool. for the people, yeah, yeah like us. It's just cool. They're really two more. Jennifer Lopez or Beyonce? Oh man, that's a hard one. I like them both. It is, right? Yeah. It's hard. For me, even. I'll take them both. <laughs> <laughs> you take them both. Why? Who's who's hotter? Who do you think is hotter? Because they really have the same type of body. If you're yeah. going by body wise, like they really have the same type of body. Yeah. Um, SoCal or NoCal? Southern California or Northern California? For all those people out there who don't know what it is, because they uh -huh. don't. But what, yeah, what SoCal or NoCal? Yeah, what do you prefer? Well, I'm more familiar with SoCal. Okay. You don't really head up north. San Francisco. Mm -hmm. I've been there quite a few times, but that's about it. There's a big art scene out there, huh? I think. Frisco, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, that's huge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I do love it there, though. Mm hmm. Yeah, but it's my amazing. heart is in LA. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And you don't want to leave your your city, right? No. Ever. <clears throat> nope. See me, I'm like, I want to just spread my wings and just. Uh -huh. <laughs> now I'm like done with this country and I want to go to another country. Oh, yeah. I'm like, yeah. But um, everybody who comes on my show, um, I'm going to give them a, a special gift from me to you as my to show you my appreciation. For coming on my show. Sorry, ready for you? Yeah. Okay. Bring <laughs> Don't laugh, okay? Don't laugh. <laughs> okay. Because I painted you a picture. Is that right? Because I do paint. You know that. Yeah, I know that. So, but I'm not that good, okay? So don't laugh. I already seen your work. So, it's still a little bit wet. Like, I did it last night. So, can you tell me what that is? Now, now I that I see it in, in the video, it looks very different. Am I looking at it correctly? Wait. <laughs> no! Wrong! <laughs> so yeah, what does that say? This is like a GYA. No. no. Okay, so basically it's 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 my it's my signature. It, I was oh, gonna sign it, okay, I was I gonna do now. like all this artwork and then I was just like, of course. I'll just sign it like that and yeah. then I I just scribbled it and then I went over it with some paint here and I know the reason why I use black and white was because I know your artwork is all black and white so originally <laughs> that's funny no originally I wanted to um, I wanted to do all black and white but then I it's really not my thing you know like that's your thing but I uh, wanted to use those colors because I know that's what your you know artwork is like and I put a little bit of glitter, black glitter in there. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. But um, I put this because purple's my favorite color. So it's just I'll, like a little like bit of too. me in it too. So. Lakers. <laughs> yeah, Thank purple. You. That's cool. And you don't have to hang it up if you don't want to, if it doesn't go. But you have a big house, you can put it in the 
it somewhere. Yeah. No, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> yes. That's my token of appreciation for you coming. So well, thank you. Thank you. And, well, give me a hug. Thanks for coming. Thank you. <laughs>